Hello everyone, this is Seppi. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to paint a landscape scene from Denali National Park in Alaska. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like these instructional videos and hit the bell button so that you will get notified when I release any of these videos. Let's get started. I start drawing the subject by drawing simple horizontal lines defining where my foreground, middle ground, and background is. Using For painting, I am working wet on wet by section by section. So as you can see, I am wetting the background uh, first using my one inch wash brush and putting the blue colors for the sky, like ultramarine blue and sepia. So for the mountains, I'm putting uh, uh, ultramarine blue and purple and a touch of yellow ochre. The second layer, which is still wet, is the hill covered with flowers and some uh, bushes and greeneries. For that, I use my cascade green and olive green and magenta. Then, while this background is drying, I move on to my foreground and wet the foreground, um, putting my yellows reds and oranges down and for the yellow i use cadmium yellow and cadmium lemon and cadmium red instead of olive green you can mix your sap green with some yellow ochre i'm adding and instead of cascade you can use a viridian or windsor green i'm adding some alizarin crimson and cadmium orange and using the same colors to create the branches. The brush that I'm using is uh, Silver Black Velvet number no. 6. I'm adding some more green, dark green colors, cool green colors like Viridian and Cascade, mixing it with a touch of ultramarine blue and add it in between those branches and create some textures for my greeneries. Adding some orange and red. And again, dark colors like purple and red in between the branches. Now I'm moving on to the next layer in the middle ground, adding Hansa yellow, you can use cadmium yellow, and now I'm dabbing some olive green and viridian to create those trees, some orange. Back to my mountains, now that this background is dry, I'm adding some cobalt, uh, cobalt blue and green, and also yellow ochre and red brown which is bird sienna for the far seen mountain i'm adding purple and ultramarine blue now i have to work on the water water usually reflects the color of the environment ambience here it's dark pretty dark to create that i'm mixing some indigo with my ultramarine blue and viridian green and I leave some spaces untouched to show the reflection in the water. And I bring those dark colors in between my bushes and branches to create connection between those and the water. The base of those bushes and plants are pretty dark on the other side of the river. So to create those dark colors, I am mixing warm and cool green and uh, I add them using my um, number 8 or 10 round brush and I'm adding them to that other side. In the foreground, I'm using number 2, brush number 2 and adding some branches in between those leaves. The color is mostly the color of the leaves. And a touch of brown. You can use bird umber or bird sienna. And here I am just scribbling with my brush to create some texture for the leaves. 
going over the heel in the background again once more using the same colors but this time stronger and back to the foreground foreground as more details and to create those details and textures all i need to do is to draw with my brush so my brush carries darker colors and i just start by without being worried about the shape of the leaves and the number of them i'm just creating those textures by somehow scribbling with my brush using brush number two once more one layer to the far seen mountains using um, cobalt ultramarine and also a little bit of green as you can see and for the far seen mountain i am using indigo and ultramarine blue adding one more layer of magenta green and some yellow and orange to my far seen hills and continuing my scribbling technique and doodling creating texture for the foreground using my number two brush i'm adding some more branches for these bushes and my work is done Thank you for watching.